I'm very excited about this. Uh, some of my people, and one of them is, is in my group now, still in my group, uh, have been able to show to make a flat surface, structured surface, in such a way that if you illuminate it with one polarization, you will see in, uh, at a certain distance a beautiful cat. If I change the polarization now, I can see a beautiful dog. You'll see that image. This kind of polarization switchable functionality would ordinarily require uh, many different birefringent optics in order to implement, and uh, in, in addition to the actual optical elements themselves. But what we've shown with uh, our more generalized metasurface polarization optics is that any two functionalities can be embedded in a single layer, uh, flat optical element that can be integrated onto a chip uh, that can function for any basis of incident polarizations, whether they're circular, linear, or elliptical. These flat surfaces that we call metasurfaces are multifunctional. Depending on how we design them, you can have in the same uh, surface multiple functions at the same time. That is very powerful. Right now, there is no way to, if you want to do this stuff this way, you, with traditional optics, you have to cascade things. You have to put one optical element in series and that makes it bulky and so forth. So, ultimate flat optics from an engineer is, is I can compactify, you know, instead of having this uh, element, this here, five, ten, like this, I can have maybe a single flat element down here and then just the camera and it does the function of complex optics. What we've been showing with our work in metasurface polarization optics is that we can embed the equivalent functionality of many of these things which ordinarily require crystals into single layer structures and this is applicable to almost any optical system that would have used these crystals before which spans the laser industry, uh, any kind of imaging, it's polarization sensitive. Really uh, polarization is one of the most fundamental aspects of optics and almost and, and is of concern in almost any optics industry.